Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and sing glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Akarkadash, Barakathon to the uh, elders, Wa'akim Wa'akwa, and I say Shalom. And this is a uh, sit down lesson from RT.com as of August uh, 2nd, 2024, and it reads U.S. Senator calls for military force against Iran. Because you know, we've been seeing the uh, rising tensions been heating up between Iran and uh, Israel. Especially in uh, mid-April, we saw that large launch response from uh, Iran after the uh, latest killings of their general leaders, you know. Especially with the recent one, like two days ago, two or three days ago, from their top rank uh, uh, leader, which is uh, in Lebanon. as he got, he got killed in that airstrike. So the tensions between Iran and Israel are heating up because you have the United States and uh, Israel as allies with one another. And then you recently, I just did a uh, sit down lesson on it. Uh, this uh, recent news article that the United States sent more fighter jets and more warships over there in the Middle East to uh, aid and assistance of uh, Israel going against uh, Iran because the uh, escalations are heating up between Iran and Israel. As I add a sad note to that, and it reads, Lizzie Graham has introduced legislation that could drag Washington into a war with Tehran if Israel is attacked. It says U.S. Senator Lizzie Graham has introduced a legislation that would authorize military action against Iran if Hezbollah attacks Israel or if Washington determines Tehran is on the crypts of acquiring nuclear weapons. It says, presented on Wednesday, the South Carolina Republic's first resolution state that the U.S. should recognize a major Hezbollah attack on Israel as an attack by Iran and keep all options on the table, including military force, according to the Jerusalem Post, uh, Jerusalem Post I meant to say. The second resolution will authorize the U.S. president to use all necessary appropriate force against the Islamic Republic of Iran if the president determines that Iran is on the process of uh, possessing a nuclear weapon or possessing uranium enrichment to weapons upgrade level, possesses a nuclear warhead, or possesses a developed vehicle capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. Both resolutions were sent to the Senate relations committee on thursday graham is a former poli policy hawk who has spent his two decades stint in the senate repeatedly lobbying for the u.s involvement in the foreign conflicts he has called for prominent u.s strikes on iran since 2010 Within days of the Israel Hezbollah was breaking out last October, was urging the U.S. and Israel to bomb the Islamic uh, Republic. Even Tehran could not be linked to Hamas attack on Israel. I'm calling tonight for Israel to destroy the oil refinements that refuse the group's beast, uh, Graham told the Fox News host Sean Hannity on Wednesday, destroy the oil refineries. And that will knock off added, referring to Iran's backing of Hezbollah and apparent support for Hezbollah. While Israel has been fighting Hamas and Gaza, sparkly clashing with Hezbollah on the Lebanese border for 10 months, I mean nearly 10 months, a recent wave of assassinations has threatened to turn the conflict into a major regional war. Iran has vowed to take revenge after a alleged Israeli bombing killed Hamas political leader Ezamali Hassanai, if I pronounce his name right, in Tehran on Wednesday. Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah said on Thursday that he forces are ready to open battle with Israel over the killing of Hanaya and the death of their own commander, Fadi Shakar in a Israeli airstrike in Beirut on Tuesday. <coughs> Speaking to reporters on Thursday, U.S. President Joe Biden said Hanea's assassinations not help efforts to reach a ceasefire in Gaza. Uh, what's that scripture says? Uh, 1 Thessalonians, the 5th chapter, for one they shall say, peace and safety, set the scratch, come upon them. 
It says uh, Biden claimed that he had heard a very direct phone call with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu in which he encouraged Netanyahu to move on a ceasefire deal was highly unlikely that's going to happen. How the way this uh, Israel-Iran situation is spiraling out of control. So that ceasefire, <laughs> that's not going to happen right after, not at the moment right now. It says a White House read out the call stating that Biden also ordered more U.S. assets to be deployed to the regional to support Israel's security against all threats from Iran. It says Iran officials has not revealed when or how they plan to attack Israel. Speaking to American media outlets on Thursday, the U.S. government sources say they are expecting a large attack than the missiles and drones barrage Iran launched on Israel in April, yet they expect the Iranian assault to take place in the coming days. Yep, yeah, this is uh, the prophet Joel 3 and verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war. Wake up the mighty man. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. The prophet Joel 3 and verse 10. Beat your plow, chance and the swords and the plenty hooks and the spears and let the weak sand strong. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down lesson was uh, edifying of this recent news article, especially with the rise in tensions are heating up between Iran and Israel. And you got the United States, our allies with Israel, as they recently sent the warships over there into the Middle East of the ongoing threat that they're facing with uh, Iran and the pro-Iranian groups and the proxy wars over there in the Middle East. <coughs> so with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying from RT.com as of August the 2nd, 2024. And it reads again, U.S. Senate calls for a military force against Iran. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit-down lesson was edifying, like I mentioned before. And with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to, to Yahweh B'Hashem, Yahweh Shai B'Hashem, and Kakadash, Barack Obama, to the uh, elders, Barack and Barack. Until next time, I will say Shalom.